hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome and my name is jenna and so today we are going to be looking at the most asked questions concerning this skincare journey also, i have a lot of questions in my other phone can you guys see it so the question that most people actually ask okay so i need to like answer it like this can actually educate a lot of people that are actually going the wrong way um doing this skincare journey so number one question i actually have here is what skincare product can a pregnant woman use so um for me that you know i've been pregnant you know two times okay i will just tell you that it differs all right because there are some pregnant women who can actually take um scents or fragrance uh, then some people that cannot actually take fragrance or scent during pregnancy for me i'll just tell you to know what you actually like during a pregnancy okay if you're the kind of person that actually can take in you know scent or fragrance um you know then you can actually know what you want by that way but if you're the kind of person that actually don't like scent or smell i would just advise you know you actually go for something that is um scentless yeah something that does not have any scent at all your skin is can actually become dry if you are pregnant there are some pregnant women that you know when they become pregnant their skin move from sensitive or oily or um, normal skin to dry skin okay because they are actually pregnant that is called hormonal changes okay so if you are the kind of person that is pregnant and you're looking for a cream that you know is going to brighten you or maintain your your skin tone then i'll just say you should go for a uh, product that is hydrating enough okay, that can you know moisturize your skin or um you know keep you hydrated for like some hours okay that's what i am going to advise but there are some pregnant women that actually uses um baby soap um baby baby powder baby um oil yes there are some pregnant women that actually uses them and their skin is actually very good yeah, and when they come out you see their skin popping and you think that this person has spent a million dollar on her skin but then she's actually using a baby product okay so you can use johnson you can use pearl you can use saba med you can use you know any soap that or any cream or powder you like all right so that's uh, what i'm going to say just know what works for you and then by that you can actually know what to get or what to select okay do skincare products expire yes skincare products actually expire like there's nothing that can actually last forever do you get so they actually have an expiry date if those people that actually put up their expiry dates they know that skincare products can actually expire and no matter the preservative and all that that you actually use a lot of products like products actually expire okay how much skincare is too much i want to talk more on this particular place because see this video can actually have a part two i don't know or maybe i'm just going to be talking too much so that you guys can understand what i'm saying okay now there are a lot of you that are always using too much like you guys are using too many products on your skin like apart from your skin mostly your face because of what you see online these days you see on social media these days this one will advertise retinoid this one will advertise retinoid this one will advertise eye cream this one will advertise this this one will advertise that and then you just want to pack everything and pour on your face <laughs> my sister my brother you are doing yourself a big harm that is not how to do it okay um less than five products or five minimum of five products is actually okay for your face if you are not treating anything even if you are treating something like acne and dress you know what to you know how to exchange you know the product in the morning and in the night that is how it is like you can't pack like eight products i see somebody that has like 10 products that she uses on her face like morning and night morning and night and i'm like what's going on what what is your main target like what do you take skincare journey for is it something that you know is um anything you just see you just buy you know and try it on your face but then it doesn't work that way okay you can even use two products and then still maintain your your facial or your color and you know make it look brighter you get but then because of what we are seeing online these days everything is just you know so crazy so please minimum of five products or four products is actually okay for just your face um whether you are treating something or you're not treating anything that is okay for your face okay 
difference between a serum and lotion lotions actually help to to affect the surface for hydration to so lock up hydration and also to so brighten the skin like it's just what you see from outside it just does the work from outside but serums actually does the work from inside you know it heal from inside to outside but lotion on the other hand is just for the surface okay just for the surface um layer of the skin all right so that's it another question here is different between a facial wash and a facial cleanser the facial wash is actually foamy okay but a cleanser is not foamy okay a cleanser is just a texture of a lotion but for the facial wash it has this foamy texture this cleanser will help to hydrate purify and suit your skin the texture will either be creamy milky or just like a watery gel okay like a colorless gel let's why a face wash helps to clean your pores more deeply so the texture is often foamy or when you apply it on your face you become um, you know it's ladders do you get so that's it that's the difference between a face wash and a cleanser do you get do you understand now some of you don't even know they are all for washing the face okay um you know when you want to start your routine okay you can either use a a facial a facial wash or you use a cleanser Bigger, but now these are the difference between the two of them okay question is how long will it take to start seeing results yeah, with your skincare products it depends okay it depends on your body because everybody has different body type okay so it actually depends on your body and some of you are not even being consistent and it also depends on when you use your product. Some people actually bathe once in a day and apply their product, like I said in my previous video, why some use it morning and night. Some can actually use morning, afternoon and night. So it all depends on people's um routine, okay? It all depends on how you take your routine seriously or, you know, how consistent you are, you get. So that's it. At what age can you start your anti-aging treatment a lot of questions concerning this but then you have to start within your 20s yeah when if you are in your 20s that's the right time to actually start your um anti-aging treatment because you don't want to get to 30 40 before you start i have dark skin is there any need of sunscreen so some people actually believe that oh because they have dark skin they are black or they are dark there's no need of using sunscreen because even if they have sunburn or they have some you know skin issues people are not going to you know see that that they feel like it's not actually going to be necessary to use a sunscreen now my intake in this is that sunscreen does not only help for um preventing some bone or maybe preventing some skin damages okay it also helps to prepare you for your anti-aging there are some sunscreen you actually use and it's going to help you in the future do you understand so even as of that sunscreen help a lot okay sunscreen whether you are dark or you are fair sunscreen actually help a lot all right so yes if you are dark it's actually a yes yes to use your sunscreen okay can a product make you have a dry skin yes a product can actually make you have a dry skin if you are the kind of person that have an oily skin before or maybe you have a dry um, a normal skin before products can actually make you to have a dry skin i've gotten something like that before was it last week where somebody was like oh um i had i used to have an oily skin i used to have a sensitive skin but then i use this particular product and since then my my hands have been feeling you know my my whole body feel flaky my whole body is always dry no matter the um this thing is, no matter what i do to it so i the first question i asked her was that okay so what was the product you used before um you know you start having this um you know before you start seeing this particular changes and she said she uses this particular product this particular product and 
um from my research that product has a lot of you know um harsh properties in it like so that is it like you have to check the properties like the ingredients that are listed to know if they are actually high like harsh properties before you can actually start using them. can i use lime or lemon on my skin yes the reason i said yes is because some of the skincare products we are using today on lime and lemon is among it okay and they use lime they use lemon do i need to double cleanse so this double cleansing um i will only advise somebody that you know um wears makeup okay all the time to actually double cleanse another question is must i use vitamin c vitamin c is a very good ingredient for the okay it helps for uh, um, anti-aging or brightening your face so help for um taking away bacteria and inflammatory um, properties um for me i would say if you want to use vitamin c you can use vitamin c but then it's not a must because i don't even know the last time i used vitamin c for my face okay but then if you feel like there's a need um you know you can go for it okay it's not a bad thing it's actually very very good all right is an eye cream really necessary like no eye cream is not necessary okay. there are some um ingredients that is in your moisturizer your face moisturizer that is your facial cream that you know it can actually help for your under eye or you know for your eye whatever and all that even vaseline is a good example some people actually use vaseline okay some people use vaseline for everywhere both their eye and everything and then their face comes out smooth and very well like their eyelashes pops out their eye underarm everything just goes well like becomes very very smooth and all that so it's not actually a must how often should i exfoliate so i said it before in my videos that you don't have to exfoliate all the time somebody said um exfoliate every day that is why my my scrub is always thinking i'm like what <laughs> i'm like what you exfoliate every day <laughs> exfoliate every every day can also make your skin prone to dry um, dryness okay it can actually change your skin to you know get very 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 flaky like very very dry okay so you don't exfoliate every day you exfoliate two, two times in a week different between a lotion and body cream so lotion actually focuses more on hydration lotion contains um less oil than body creams the cream lasts longer on your body so when you are using lotion you can as well go in with oil you know, to give it that shiny look and all that but when you're using your cream you don't need an oil okay so that's the difference most i apply sunscreen every day depends on the kind of work you do or how you step out but because some people that stay in indoor for like weeks um i don't think it's necessary to apply sunscreen but somebody that actually goes out morning afternoon i would advise you use your sunscreen for me i don't use my sunscreen every day okay i only use it when i want to go out that's when i apply my sunscreen you get so that's how it works for me. What area of your body requires more attention? So it's actually your face. Your face is the most sensitive part of your body. Different between a toner and an essence. Toner is used to prep and smooth the skin, while essence preps and hydrates the skin. Toner balances skin pH level, while essence um, brightens the skin. Toner removes impurity, dirty from the, the skin. White essence gives the skin total nourishment. For the toner, it may, it might contain alcohol, which is ash property. For essence suits damaged or irritated skin. Toner is usually not recommended for sensitive skin or dry skin. While an essence is good for all skin types. Okay, so, yeah guys um we have come to the end of these questions your skincare questions if you have any more drop in the comment section below i'll be ready to answer and if there's anything you want to say concerning this particular topic question and answer 
you can actually chip in thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you guys next video